hello everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel my name is precious all right you recall that we've started a study on the concept of uh, differential equations where we're able to define a differential equation and we also stated the classes of differentials or uh, differential equations that we have of course you recall we said that a differential equation is an equation that contains uh, a, an independent variable, a dependent variable, and some of the derivatives of the dependent variable. So you can have something like y prime is equal to say 2x plus 5. Okay, and we say that this is a differential equation. Why? Because x is the independent variable, y is a dependent variable, and uh, y prime, which actually means dy dx, is a derivative of y with respect to the independent variable. All right, now, one thing we must note as we continue is that every differential equation, in fact, any equation you're given is actually, the aim is that we can solve it and be able to get the solution of the equation. If it is a simple equation, such as x plus five equal to seven, we can say that the solution of this equation is simply any value of x that will make this equation to be true. And the value of x that will do that is x equal to what? Two, because by the time we add two to seven, uh, five, we will definitely get seven. All right, so to get the solution to an equation is simply to get the value of the unknown that will make that equation true or that will satisfy the equation. And it, it is not different from uh, the solution to a differential equation, which is what we are about discussing in this video. Okay, so now the solution to any differential equation is a function y. You recall that we said that a differential equation is generated by differentiating a function. So for instance, if you are given y is equal to x squared, by the time you differentiate y with respect to x, you will get y prime equal to 2x. If I take this 2x to this side, I will get y prime minus 2x equal to 0. Of course, this is an equation and it is in fact a differential equation. OK, so to solve this differential equation, what it means is that I desire to get back the y function that gave result to this uh, particular differential equation. And that is why the solution to a differential equation is usually a function. And in fact, it is a function of x if x is the independent variable. If t is the independent variable, then it becomes a function of t. So in this case, we are assuming that the independent variable is x. And so we are saying that a function y equal to f of x is a solution of a differential equation um, if it satisfies that differential equation. So it's quite not different from the concept of uh, normal or linear equations that we know. All right, so the meaning is that um, if I have something like, like the one I wrote now, y prime minus 2x equal to 0, okay? Any function of y that will satisfy this particular equation becomes a solution. So, and of course, you know, when we started, we said that y is equal to x squared. And you can check if it is true. So, to determine whether this is a solution of this, all you need to do is to get the y prime. Since there is y prime here, so I should just differentiate this. If I do that, I will get 2x. So, substitute this into this equation. Of course, if I put my y prime as 2x, 2x minus 2x will definitely give me zero so it satisfies this particular equation and so we say that it is a solution of the differential equation okay so and that is what we mean by a solution of an nth order differential equation so we can give you an equation and then ask you to check whether a particular function is a solution to that equation at this time we are not yet solving the equation because ordinarily if you are given this equation here and you are asked to solve, that means you are expected to get the solution by yourself. So, but at this point, we are just determining, we are just uh, learning how to check whether a function is a solution to a given differential equation. And of course, we are going to do examples. But before we get into that, please kindly note that, of course, you know, if I have 
my y as now remember here it is just x squared so if i have it as x squared plus let's say five or whatever that is a constant you will see that it will also form a solution to this equation and the reason is because the constant will always be differentiated into a zero so of course if i differentiate this i will still get 2x because my five will turn to zero so that is to say that every differential equation does not will not necessarily have a particular solution. It is possible that the solution of a differential equation are many, that's infinitely many. And of course, as we progress, we are going to see what makes, uh, you know, what will qualify a differential equation to have what we call a general solution or a particular solution. And of course, we can also get a particular solution by giving some conditions on that differential equation, what we call initial value problems. So quickly, let's look at some examples now. So see these examples. It says we should determine whether the indicated function uh, is a solution of the given differential equation. So we have examples here. We are given the first function here, and we are to determine whether the function in front of it is a solution to it. So all do all you are expected to do very easy. Like I said previously, from the function you are given, you will try to get your y prime. If you have y prime prime in the equation, you will differentiate it two times and also get double prime. If you have three primes, you also do the third one. So just that way. And once you are done, you substitute everything into this equation and see if it will be equal to the right hand side. Meanwhile, before you start substitution, it is advised that you take everything to the left hand side. So I want to take everything to the left hand side so that it will be this way equal to zero okay so it's always better to you know simplify trying to get zero instead of getting other expressions all right so let's quickly continue so if i differentiate this now i am going to get 3x get 3x squared and that is plus 2 as my y prime and in this case i only have y prime so i will just go ahead and substitute okay now so i'm going to be substituting into x y prime minus y then minus 2x cubed okay so i want to see if i substitute whether i'm going to get zero okay so let's go i have my x what is my y prime that is this so i put in 3x squared minus 2 sorry plus 2 and then minus my y what is my y my y has been given up here as a minus this last one which is 2x cubed okay so my job now is to simplify what i have here now and see if i am going to get zero and of course that is possible let's see and if i don't get zero it means that it is not a solution okay so let's open our bracket if i do that i will have 3s cubed okay so let's see if there is any way to cancel of course here if you watch here you can see that 2x will take away this 2x and of course 3x cubed minus okay in fact you can even take it to one more line minus s cubed minus 2s cubed will give you 3 minus 3s cubed and of course this is equal to zero so having established that your right hand side or your left hand side is equal to zero which is your right hand side then it means that the function given here is a solution to the differential equation okay so quickly let's look at the second example so the same process here we are also to check if the equation in front here is a solution to Sorry, if the function in front is a solution to the differential equation. So I also have only the first derivative, so I will only differentiate my y once. Okay, so let me quickly do that. If I differentiate that y, you can see that the y I have there is a product. So that's the first function there is a product. So I will use product rule. You recall product rule of differentiation, which says that if I have my y as uv, then the derivative is u multiplied by dv plus v multiplied by du. So I'm going to quickly apply that here. So let's take it that my x is u and my 
ln x is v. So if I keep my u constant, which is x, and differentiate v, I will get 1 over x. The derivative of ln x is 1 over x. Then plus, I will keep my ln x as a constant and differentiate u, which is 1. Sorry, this is ln x. Okay, so if I differentiate u, which is x, I will get 1. And finally, minus, I will now differentiate x here. And if you differentiate x, you will get 1 here. So see what will happen. At this point now, x here will cancel x. So I will just get 1 there. And that is plus the ln of x, which when it multiplies 1 will be the same. Then I will now have minus 1. Of course, 1 will remove this minus 1 here. And so we just have our ln x as the derivative of y. So at this point now, we will try to substitute into the function, the differential equation. Remember I said it is good to take everything to the left-hand side. So minus y prime minus y over x minus 1. So we want to check if this will be 0. So we substitute our y prime is ln x minus our y alone is, um, let's see, x ln x minus x okay okay so we have x ln x then minus x all over x the numerator is your y y the denominator is x it was given to us so we now say minus one which is this one okay so we'll try to now simplify and see if we get zero so this will give us ln x minus of course x will divide the numerator, each term of the numerator. So x ln x divided by x will give you only ln x. Remember, there should be a bracket here, actually. All right? And then x dividing x will give you 1 inside there. And that is minus 1 here. So from here, we will now get that we, if we open that bracket, that will give us minus ln x. And then we have minus 1. So, of course, from here, finally, we are going to get that this will take away this, this will take away this, and so we have zero here. Therefore, the function we are giving there, which is y equal to x ln x, is simply a solution to this differential equation, and that is our solution. Okay, let's see if we have other examples. Okay, so the example 3 here says we should check whether y equal to sine x is a solution to this other function. Okay, so quickly, the same way, I have two derivatives in this case. So I'm going to differentiate y twice. So the first derivative, of course, if you differentiate sine, you will get cos x. And if you, that's once, right? So, and if we differentiate it two times, if you differentiate cos, you are going to get minus sine x, okay? So let's see if this is a solution, all right? So we bring down the differential equation, y prime prime plus y. So we want to know if we actually get zero by substituting. Then what is our y prime prime? Our y prime prime is simply minus sine x plus what is our y? Look at it here. Our y was given as sine x. And of course, if you do this, you are going to get zero. So it is a solution. The fourth example is actually a generalization of this third example. In fact, if you check for y equal to cos x, you will actually see that it is also a solution of this. And because the two of them are solutions, any combination of the two, any linear, what we call linear combination in linear algebra of the two of them will always be a solution. And that is this generalization we have here. So they want us to generalize that any linear combination of sine x and cos x will be a solution of this differential equation. And of course, it is going to be. So let's quickly see. So we we'll first of all try to, they are double prime, so we'll get the first prime. The first prime, if you differentiate this, you are going to get C1. So I've gotten the first prime. So we'll go to the second prime, Y prime prime. If I differentiate this, if you differentiate cos, it will be minus. So you have minus C1 sine X. Now, see the simple thing that is going to happen here. Now watch, if you factorize minus sine, this is going to be C1 sine X. 
and if you watch carefully you see that that value in that bracket is exactly the y that we are given here that means our y prime prime is equal to minus y so if i substitute into this function now so i'm going to have y prime prime plus y is simply equal to my y prime prime is simply minus y just add y to it and you will get what zero in this case you don't necessarily need to open up bracket and substitute the values that's these values and even if which you do that you will still get the same answer so but this factorization i did here just made the whole process easier for us okay i am going to give you some exercise because of course this is where i'm going to end in this video all right so here we have two examples here it says we should check if these are solutions that means check whether this is a solution of this and check if this one is a solution and i will be waiting for your solution or your response in the comment section below all right so this is where we end it for this video kindly subscribe to our youtube channel if you have not done so do give a thumbs up to this video and also share to your colleagues and friends we will see you in our next video bye